that chip is going to be the Intel. This is an amazing value when it comes to chips. i3 12100F, LGA 1700 socket. So that's the new socket. A lot of your old coolers are not going to support that socket. So that's a big drawback is you might have to get an adapter if you've got a really expensive cooler. A lot of the manufacturers are actually making adapters right now that you can buy. So that's the chip right there. It will come with a cooler and that's what we're going to use in a budget build. We're not going to go out and get another one. It is going to ramp up and make noise. It is not going to you know, keep the thermals down the way we want. That's the one thing I really hated about my, my cheap Ryzen machines is when I use the stock Ryzen cooler, super loud. And just the amount of volume that it changes. If it was constant, that'd be fine. But going up and down and up and down. So this will do that a little bit. It does come with a cooler. I'm going to unbox it for you here real quick. Who wants to see another trick? I have a, a new thing I haven't tried yet. Bear with me. We have an unboxing camera. <laughs> so I've been, been playing with the studio a little bit here. So this is the Intel chip. We're going to see, I might have to adjust the exposure and a couple things on it to get it just right, because this is our first time using it. But yeah, this is the unboxing. And I posted this to Twitter. Look at that, uh, <laughs> that thermal compound. And actually, hopefully you can see it there. There's some like, almost like looks like scratches on the uh, copper plate. So this is the the fan right there that we're talking about. So there you go. <laughs> um, it's plastic. That's another thing. So the, there's a uh, copper slug there that's making contact. And then you have some aluminum, it looks like on the outside. And then the rest of it is really all plastic. So that's what you're getting. Again, it's a hundred dollars and includes a cooler. I have not used this one as you see. So oh, this is gonna be our first time installing that cooler. I used another one. Actually, let me grab it here for you. And I don't want to mistake them, but this is the cooler off the 12400, which is exactly like 10 grams heavier. It's very minutely heavier, but otherwise it's exactly the same as what we're told. So I uh, don't know why Intel decided to make two different coolers, but that's what they did. There's the chip itself. Now what's funny about this, like we said, there's all the, the contact pads. Hopefully you guys can see that that are on the bottom have all those little contacts that make uh, contact on that motherboard. So that's a little bit different than again, the Ryzen's I bought a lot of used Ryzen CPUs and you're always constantly looking to see pins. And I've got some pictures on Twitter of bent pins that I've had to, to ease back into submission. So a um, couple things about this one, four cores, no performance cores on this one, like, you know, separate performance efficiency. I believe it's four just performance. And then you get eight threads total. So that's what you're getting in the box here. So again, if you see something like a, a 10, 100 F and think, oh, that's going to be great. It's the LGA, you know, 1200. Uh, it's going to work better. This thing blows the doors off of that here, but yeah, this 12th gen right here, this one is available and it's a SKU that doesn't have the F on it. So the F means that you're going to have to have a dedicated uh, GPU for this one. So that was another interesting thing. So if you buy this one that is in stock for 129 right now, that one is going to have a GPU built into it, I believe. And another option, if you were going to upgrade from this one, would be the 12400, which is another amazing chip. Um, they all perform incredibly well. So.